What is up guys, my name is Jason Guyot, and in this video, we're taking a look at the Earth Runners in the size 11 men's. Let's get into it. Before we get started, here is my foot specifications to hopefully help you judge if this shoe may be a good choice for you. As you can see here, I drew an outline around my feet and marked each foot's length, then the widest widths across the balls of my feet, as well as across my toes. The length of my left foot is 27.8 centimeters, which is slightly larger than my length of my right, which is 27.5 centimeters. The widths across the balls of my feet are also slightly different, my left being 12.1 centimeters and my right being 12.4 centimeters. And the width across my toes are very similar, left being 12.6 centimeters and the right being 12.5. Here are the measurements of the actual sandal in comparison to my foot, if it may help you with sizing. So, I'm obviously quite biased in saying this, as this is the only pair of actual minimalist sandals I already own, but these things are the bomb. Of course, I can't judge them on other pairs as I don't have them, but these things have been so comfortable, probably honestly because there is no side to it, uh, really compressing my foot together, which bugs me with normal shoes with such a wide of a foot. But, uh, will other sandals be the same? That's what I'm not sure. Overall, these guys have been really comfortable, though. What sets Earthrunners apart from other minimalist sandals, however, is the copper rivet found in the sole of the shoe, which helps ground you with its conductive lacing around your foot. This is a really interesting idea that has not been really played around with by other minimalist shoe companies. They also sell the copper rivets individually for you to buy and install yourself into other pairs of shoes that you can install on a similar position as they are in the Earth Runners. For myself and some others of reviews I've read, there is quite a learning curve to get your foot used to these sandals with the position of the thong, as you will. They can kind of sometimes rub on the inside of your toe and the top of the foot depending on how tight you have them, but I got quickly used to this and they were comfortable otherwise afterwards. I wouldn't consider these sandals the easiest to slip on if your hands were full, for example. Here you can see that I'm kind of trying to attempt it. Uh, if you use your other foot, you might be able to slide the top uh, lace over the top of your foot up a little bit, but I eventually kind of had to use my back hand to slip it over the heel. That being said, much easier to slip off. It's nice that you can play with the tightness so you can really get it nice up close to your foot. Here I kind of demonstrate what the mobility is like, uh, that you can flex your foot and it will move with you, as well as it staying pretty close to the top of your foot. That being said, while walking sometimes, rocks will tend to kind of slip in between the sandal and my foot, but it's a pretty easy fix. Here's a clip of me, despite the somewhat tightness level of the laces, how much my foot will move around in the laces side to side, up and down. Not too much give.
Another thing I like about earth runners is you can throw on a pair of tabby socks or toe socks, for example, in the winter. If you have a nice pair of good wool tabby socks like this, you can keep nice and warm and hopefully still have the comfortableness of sandals if your foot's as wide as mine, that is. Wearing a sock with the sandal won't add to too much more excess mobility under the laces. However, what I found is that the heel will tend to slip down a little bit more often while you're walking or running with the socks on. Overall, I'm really happy with the purchase of my Earth Runners. They really are comfortable, and I even managed to do a 9k hike uphill in them. Only reason I took them off coming down is they kind of jammed into your toe on the decline. I hope you guys found this video helpful on the Earth Runner Circadian Men's Size 11. As always, happy to answer any qu other possible questions you may have in the comments down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.